It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to War Eagle Football with head coach Jack Hankins. Coach Hankins, how you doing? Are you ready to go? I'm doing good. Ready to go. Ready to talk a little War Eagle football. You know, it was about a year ago when you showed up here as the new head coach for Wayne County High School War Eagle Football, and nobody, I mean nobody, saw you coming. But the whole state of Mississippi knows you now. You've made a huge impact right off the bat, coach. Uh, you know, how would you? Is there is there an area where you would, that you can quantify for us when we're looking at impacts and changes from last year to this year where you were? Where well, you, I, you know, I appreciate your kind words, but you know, we did got got here. I guess I officially started March first, and uh, I I don't know impact, Marshall. We had to get in the weight room. We had we had to start grinding the weights and then start getting our kids going. And um, you know, our coaches did a good job having uh, some workouts set up before I got here. So, you know, we wanted to we wanted to. Two things we want to hit the ground running. It was with our weights and it was with our grades. When I got here, I found out that uh, we had about, I don't know, let's say 49, 50 kids out of 84 had failing grades and a lot of them had multiple Fs. And that's not a way to, to run things. And we'll talk about that more later as we get going with philosophy and, and core values and things like that. But we we had to we had to make an impact right there and I, and I and I hope we and I I know that we have made an impact. I know we've got some kids uh bigger and faster and stronger and we got kids winning in the classroom and and that's that's important. You know, I'm going to I'm going to get to a question in a minute about about kids coming out that but if I don't lose my track, but I want to back up. You're talking about coaching, you know, far outside outside the lines and and the impact in the classroom. People don't really know how much work I mean, I don't even know how much work goes into coaching because there's so much. It's not a, it's not eight to five, nine to five. It's twenty four seven, and then no much how much research you did getting to know your players and the guys who were on your team because I heard you at practice out here. You hadn't been here two weeks or three weeks, and I heard you in practice out there talking. Said you got this many absences. Mm -hmm. You knew I was listening to you. You must be a halfway <laughs> intelligent kind of guy just to remember all that stuff and to research it. You, well, how do you know if you don't put the time in? That, that's it. Marshall, I guess before I accepted the job and before I got here, you know, because, you know, if you remember, I took the job. It was, really, it was really a difficult situation because when I took the job, I was on COVID. Uh, myself and my family had it, so we were kind of quarantined for two weeks. Well, then when I get off quarantine, the team's on quarantine. <laughs> So there was a time of me being hired and me being able to meet our players. That was about a month window. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I know I could, I could not be here in person with the guys, but I wasn't going to let that stop. So, so I did what only I could do, and that's pick up as far as find out what their grades were, find out about their absences, find out about discipline. And I watched a ton of film. I watched yeah. a ton of film from them guys from last year and, and just got tried to get as familiar with everybody as I could before I got here. Yeah. And uh, that's why when I got here, the first meeting I had with them, you know, I could address them by their name and yeah. and by their number. And I think it makes a difference. Let the kids know, hey, I saw you play and yeah. I saw you do this and, you know, th things like that. So yeah. that, there was a big window here. And I guess just a, a hardship before we kind of got started on both ends. Yeah. So, you know, COVID just kind of changed the world a little bit. But yeah. we made it and um, we're here and now we're hitting the ground running. You know, I, I want to talk about it back up to this impact thing. And I know, you know, we're not going to talk about readers or whatever. You can talk about however you want to talk about. It, but I know there was some kids uh, last year uh, that didn't that didn't play, that didn't come out, decided not to participate. Yes, sir. And you talk about impact. You see, these kids sit back and they watch and they see and they learn what's happening with War Eagle football and what's happening with you. And I understand that now, and this is really excites me, kids – that weren't on the team last year, coming back, buying in, wanting to be a part. To me, that's a very measurable and important impact. Well, it's, it's funny you mentioned that. Right before we started recording this show, I talked to a young man that wanted to come back out and play. And uh, Marshall, I would think, since you mentioned that, we've probably had – I would be guessing somewhere around 15 that did not play last year that want to come out and play this year. 
And uh, we've had some that didn't play their whole high school career that's wanting to come back out. So I think that's good. I think the kids want to be a part of what's going on. I think they see, um, I think they see success. And I've, I've, I've always thought that good players, they, they want to be in, 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 a, in a grounded discipline program, and they know they have a chance for success. And, and I tell you, I'm excited about some of these guys coming out as well. You know, they play other sports. Uh, some of them do. Some of them don't. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a time where – and you know this, football is not for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say that. But, you know, the springtime is a chance for you to try. Let's give, let's give folks a chance, you know. When they want to come out, we're going to check their discipline. We're going to check their grades. And they have to be right on that aspect to be a part of the team. Because playing football is a privilege and it's not a right. Yeah. And you have to earn that privilege. And they'll do that with great behavior in the school and with great grades. Because let me tell you, man, and I know we'll talk about it later, that it, it goes hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. You know, I sit back and I'm reminded of a song that came out probably in the 80s, Give Me Something to Believe In. And Coach, That's right. I'm telling you, uh, you know, from what, for me personally, you know, I'm not talking about what was or what is or what, what wasn't or what, what will never be. I'm talking about we got something to believe in. And uh, I think that's what kids are drawn drawn to that. And I, I'm excited about that, and I know you are too. Let's move on. This is our first show, so kind of back up at the beginning. I'm sure you had some preconceived ideas as you came in here. You, you've you been here almost a year, so uh, put you on the spot here. Yeah, How sure. close was what you were expecting to what you have found and or experienced since you've been here? I see you, I see you smiling. That's a good one. Um well, you said how close. I don't think it was close at all. Um, man, this is this is this is Wayne County. This is one of the best places in Mississippi to play football at, to coach football at, and uh, it it was a little different. You remember, and I, I've seen, and we've talked about it before. You know, at my previous school, we played you guys in a home and home series in the spring. Mm, I remember. And uh, Todd and I had it set up. We were probably going to play the next year regular season, and something happened with our region alignment over there in Alabama, and we could, we never could get it together, and so we never did get to play again. And, and we stayed in contact. And, t- and I, and I, after playing Wayne County, man, it, it, it wasn't that far from where I live, so I, I kind of kept up with it on the outside looking in. And, and I just remember the, the very good players and the Benitos and just – just the good players and the state championship in 15 and stopping, you know, the guy at the goal line. I remember all that stuff, and, and that stuff's exciting. Uh, you know, I just always thought Wayne County, when we played them in the past, was, was very physical and um, was very fast. And, and I always pictured in my mind they were very big. And, uh, again, you go back to Benito, but Benito wasn't – the only big guy y'all had. I, I remember when we played them. Um, yeah. I think we played. I think um, Ollie was on one of those teams. We Bivens played. Was and, on there. Yeah, you know, Bivens, I mean, all, we, they all. were younger, ninth and tenth grades, but yeah. man, they were big then. And uh, <laughs> that that kind of surprised me when I got here that we really didn't have. I was expecting to see you know probably ten or fifteen bigger guys, and, and we were not that big yeah. um, when I got here. But you don't have to be big to win games. I'm not saying that. That just surprised me. Um, you know. When when I got here, I know Wayne County had had a lot of good players the year before, and we graduated a lot of starters. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think anytime you go somewhere and you replace twenty starters, Marshall, that's that's t- I, I didn't foresee that coming. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but we um we're we're getting there. We're not where we want to be. We've got to get a lot stronger. You know, we got to get a lot stronger. Because let, let's be honest, let, let, let's let's be candid about it. This is five A football in South Mississippi. This is some of the best football in the nation. Out of our region or people we're going to play, there, there's going to be a state championship in this region. This is some of the best football and best football players in the nation. And um, we've got to build our program back back to that, to where we can compete for that on a year-in and year-out basis. And, that, and we're going to do that. We're going to do it, and it's going to take a little time, but we're going to do that. Give us something to believe in. Right? Yes, sir. I, I believe to achieve. Listen, we're going to take a break for a moment, uh, Coach Jack, and hear from some of our sponsors, and then we will be right back after these words. 
Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generac generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Welcome back, everybody. Coach, let's let's look at, at your tenure here to date. And uh let's talk about some things like some some of the bright spots uh that you've that you've noticed along the way and maybe some concerns that you have noticed and experienced. Tell, tell us about that. Maybe focus sure. on the bright side. Sure, all right. Well the bright spots, that's that's a good question. Uh let me tell you something, and people don't know this, and I think people outside of schools really don't know this because they don't know teenagers. We've got some great kids here. We got some great kids in the program. The kids that stayed with us and stayed with me since I've been here, man, they're 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 phenomenal. They they're they're great people in the classroom, off the street. They work extremely hard. Let me tell you, we got some of the hardest working kids uh, around. You know, and I, man, their their effort. Um, let me tell you, they're, they're winners. And we say, well, how do you say that? And y'all 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 just were six and three or didn't matter. Let me tell you, I come in here, they had a choice to make. I was their third head coach in three years. They 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 didn't want to see change. You know, pe people are it's comfortable. Tough. It's tough. They decided to stick with it and give this give this old guy a chance. And uh I think they loved Wayne County loved playing football more than they hated the change. And uh let me tell you, we got some great kids that stuck in there, and, that, and that's hard to do. You hear about it at different levels, or, you know, this quarterback in the NFL has had four or five, you know, coordinators, or this happens, or that. Man, that's tough to do, especially with, uh, with, with kids. And let me tell you, they're resilient. Our kids here are resilient. Um, we got stronger, Marshall, when I got here. We, we weren't overly strong. We, matter of fact, we didn't have a guy bench 300 pounds in the weight room. And, uh, that, I saw your first one. Changed. I remember the video. We got our first one. You know, <laughs> old Braxton did that. And he, man, and we're going to be closer to having several this year. And uh, you know, again, this is football in South Mississippi, so you, you better have some boys that, that can go and that can push the weight. And let me tell you, our kids did a phenomenal job of believing and buying in. Um, you know that that was they're 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 the reason for our success, Marshall. You know they're the reason because if they didn't. 
we would have struggled. You know, that that was – you said bright spots. And that was a concern. Yeah. Will they buy in? Will they believe in what we're doing? You know, heck, we got 20 new starters. So that that was tough. Our kids are phenomenal here. You know, I, I watched, you know, on the sidelines as much as I could during the game. Anybody who's ever heard me call a game, they probably wonder what I'm, <laughs> what I'm looking at anyway. But, you know, the discipline – and the interest of the kids, you could see it on the sidelines. They were standing down there paying attention to what was going on. You know, they seemed to be focused. And uh, yeah. that, that was something that, you know, people not just, they're not just walking around there looking up in the stands. They're no. watching what's going well, on. They better, they, they better not be looking up in the stands. <laughs> they won't be on that sideline. But, look, let me tell you, I heard, you know, during the game, you got offense, things are going on. I heard some of our older guys trying to, you know, share with our young guys, hey, you know, he's in this coverage or this guy's lined up here, you got to do that. I heard some of our guys sharing stuff and I guess being cerebral about the game, and I, I don't know any other way. That's the way you have to be. And when your older guys can, can do that and try to help the younger guys and always be involved, that's important. That, that's important. That, and our unity, we'll have unity through that, and that will improve as well as we get going. It's funny you should mention that because I flashed back to Florence. And uh, I believe it was a Florence game when you weren't really happy with the first half performance and you was getting ready to go in there and dress them up at the halftime and you heard them talking mm -hmm. and you told your coach, you said, they're working it out. Yeah. They're working it out. And you backed up, you said, you had a few words, but you let them work it out themselves. And guess what? That's right. It did. We come out on fire. They, How much did they learn from that? Yeah. You they, know? they learned a lot. And here's the thing. They're, when you're committed and you buy in, everybody's got the same goal. And you don't have, when you don't have 20 different agendas going on, and everybody's got the same agenda, the same goal, man, things can happen, and things can um, happen more quickly than they can otherwise. Well, Coach, the horn is about to blow, so we got to go for now. But be sure to join us in two weeks for the next chapter of War Eagle Football with our coach, Jack Hankins. And remember that our shows will be posted on our Facebook page, War Eagle Football, throughout the week. Thanks for being with us, and we will see you next time for more Wayne County Football. We out. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. 
Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.